just let's just sit down and talk. We're just gonna sit down. We're gonna talk for a second. I'm in my like living room here, as y'all can see, but I'm here like at a table because I'm crafting. <laughs> crafting but I'm trying to film a YouTube video doing crafts because I like crafts right and I realize I'm just not her I'm not the craft chick that can film a YouTube video with like a DSLR making it pretty doing all kind of clips and cuts now this this video I filmed before this current one that we're doing we're gonna try, we're attempting, but I'm just not her. I already know I'm not her, um, so I'm definitely not gonna try to be her. I mean, this is a craft video and I haven't even told y'all what we're crafting yet um, because I just wanted to tell y'all, I wanted to sit down and let y'all know I love crafts and I love Arlie's Craft Closet and the things that I do for Arlie's Craft Closet, but I am not. I am not, what's that girl's name? DIY Jen or or something DIY? I don't remember her name. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm not her. I'm not anybody that has DIY or crafty or maker or anything like that in their like YouTube name. I'm not them. And I'm not gonna try to be them, y'all. This is this is crafting for me. Like all of it. Like this is 20 different crafts right here. 20 different crafts in one spot. It's just, yeah, this, this is, this is me. This is our craft. Um, so yeah, um, the rest of these craft videos are probably going to be handheld vlog style because that's just how <laughs> I like filming these craft videos because y'all, what did I just say? I am not her. I'm not her. I cannot film 35 millimeter all pretty making these crafts. It's just, it's not going to work. So... I don't know. With with all of that being said, we are doing a craft today. Um, Y'all probably heard me talk about in like the Amazon haul and some other hauls that I've did that y'all, I'm loving farmhouse beaded garland. So that's what we're here to do today. We're here to make some beaded garland and we're gonna make it Easter style. So <laughs> I told y'all I was not her and we're gonna keep it rolling. We're going to do it Easter style. We've got some Easter eggs here, some little faux styrofoamy Easter egg. We've got some wooded beads here that we've already painted. And I'm going to actually, oh, that was kind of loud here. I'm going to show y'all what we painted. So we're going to do yellow. No, we're not. Yeah, no, we're doing, yeah, we're doing yellow, blue, and pink pink and blue um, for our Easter. This is going to be for the St. Pat's, but this is a little contraption that I saw someone make on YouTube. They just took a box, cut some slits in it, took some like sort of wiring or whatever you have. I got a pack of these little like, I don't know, wreath wires from um, Walmart for like two bucks and kind of like set it through here, cut the slits, whatever, put the beads on here kind of turn it as I spray painted so that I could get all the beads. Very easy, awesome. I also did another method where I took paint, set it in a bowl, and just started shaking. And these turned out pretty well. They probably need another coat, but you know, we'll get there. I'm not using these right now. Um, again, blue, pink, yellow are we, what we're doing for Easter. Again, crafts. This is this is it, y'all. And this is how these videos are gonna happen. And I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, so here we are. So we've got these tags. I got these wood tags from Walmart. So I'm gonna actually take this one outside and spray paint it. And while we're putting our garland together, this will dry. And then we've already done some stuff with the Cricut. We've got Hoppy Easter. We'll go on one side of the tag. And then we've got a cute little bunny that's going to go the other side of the tag. And then I also bought some, yep, this is how it's going to go, y'all. We've got some little 
poofs there that are going to make a little bunny tail. So that's going to be cute. Um, and then we're going to actually string some Easter eggs within the beads as well. So we're probably not going to use all those beads because I'm going to take a few of these Easter eggs that I've kind of poked a hole all the way through. You see that? Ooh, the other side. Um, we're going to string some of these on there using our twine. And we've got some ribbon. Y'all, this is a happy, happy, I told y'all, it's 20 crafts. We've got some cute ribbon that we're going to use, and it's just going to be good. So let's take, what did I say we were going to do? Can y'all remind me what we were, yep, yep, here we go. We're going to take this guy out to the garage, and we're going to paint him. Cut one done, let's get some garland done. All right, y'all, so if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, we're trying again because it is slightly difficult to film in this setup in my living room with a handheld camera. So we're trying again. We figured some things out and we're just going to try to roll with it. So for this project, you'll need wood beads. Again, I get these from Amazon and the spray paint from Walmart. And I showed you guys in the previous clip how I kind of set them up in that little box to get them all pretty and painted. And we've got all colors. We're using the pink, yellow, and blue. So these eggs here, right here, are optional. Um, I did get them from Big Lots. Um, and they were six dollars for the entire pack here. Hopefully that is focused because I really honestly cannot tell. Um, and then I also got some ribbon. Hope oh, this isn't super blown out. There we go, y'all. So we got some ribbon. We got this one. And then we also got that one. Just as some options to use. Um, so starting off, I finish poking the hole in the eggs. What I mean are these eggs, they come with a hole in the bottom. Once the camera focuses, we'll be good to go. But there is a hole in the bottom of the egg, but the hole does not come through the top of the egg. So I have just a skewer. <laughs> we do lots of shrimp skewers around here. So I'm just gonna finish poking that hole straight up. I want to go slowly just to make sure I'm going straight and straight up and I see it. Oh, it's peeking through. There we go. Straight up through the top of the egg and now I can string this egg onto my garland. All right, so at this point, y'all, I'm going to take my twine. I'm not going to clip the string on my twine because I'm not sure how long I want this one to be. So I'm just going to kind of keep it attached until I feel like I'm ready um, and we're just gonna string these and the um, eggs on I'm not sure when I'm gonna do the eggs probably every I would say every 10 or every 15 let's say every 15 beads I'm not even sure how many beads I have here you know what let me count my beads and let's make this nice and neat After doing the calculations on my beads, I realized that every 12th bead I need to put an egg. So that's that's just where I the number I came up with. So we're gonna go with that. Now to start stringing, twine is roughly kind of frayed at the end here. Um, so what I like to do is, what I like to do is I take a piece of scotch tape here and just wrap it around the edge to kind of make more of a point on my twine. All right, y'all, so happy stringing.
a garland working, but I kind of ran out of beads. So I'm gonna make an executive decision and try to adjust. Um, we are going to take six of these guys from this end and move them to the opposite end of our garland here. All right, y'all, so now we have a fully even distribution of our garland, y'all. It looks like a fancy necklace. But um, we're gonna now make each tassel on the ends. Um, we're also gonna go check and flip our tags so that we can make sure it's drying properly. All right, yeah, so it's a little chilly in here, y'all, so it should be drying pretty quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this one over and paint the other side. All right, y'all, so while our tag is currently drying, we're gonna take this twine here and we are going to make our tassel. So you're basically gonna take the end of your twine and just wrap it around your hand until you feel like you've gotten a thick enough um, twine around there to just make like a nice little fluffy full tassel. So I usually go until like my fingers start feeling very trapped. Um, so now you have this little circle. You're gonna take another piece of twine, just a small piece. Okay, so you're gonna take the other piece of twine, you're gonna bring it through the top and just make a few knots. So next you're going to take your scissors and on the opposite end of where you tied, you are going to cut. So you end up with a little bit of a tassel. We're going to flip the tassel where your knot is on the outside. We're going to flip the tassel so that the knot is actually on the inside and we're just gonna kind of bring everything together. Don't worry about stuff being uneven. We're gonna trim that up in the end. And if you choose to do so, you can add in ribbon at this point. I kind of just bring in a piece of ribbon, kind of measure it out. I'm probably gonna do two pieces um, to add to it and then we'll tie it up. So if you choose to add ribbon, I just found it pretty easy. If I can show you to put one piece of ribbon on the bottom and kind of sandwich the tassel um, and then we'll tie it up. So once you kind of have it sandwiched, if you're using ribbon, if not, you're just going to bring it around your finger and just kind of gather it. So you have like a little bulb on top here and then you're going to wrap another piece of twine around it. Okay, so we have a roughly completed tassel here. Um, hopefully y'all are seeing this. We've got a little ribbon mix in. We're gonna trim this up and we're also gonna kind of move this around so that the ribbon feels more mixed in. Um, but we're also gonna string this on the edge of our um, garland. Hence, I have my finger kind of through the hole, kind of creating space for me to stick the end of my garland through it. All right, y'all, so besides having our tag, we've got our garland pretty much almost done. Here is our tassel, all trimmed up, and kind of, you see a little bit of the ribbon throughout the tassel, super cute. Y'all, this one I'm actually loving. This is actually my first one um, with this idea, so I'm excited to get like better like it looks really good i'll probably use this one for my house but y'all these will be on arlie's craft closet i'm so excited these are so stinking cute um so i'm ready to get some of these done and get some orders out because y'all these are absolutely adorable for decor for your home for easter so um we're gonna check on the tag see if it's dry and we will get it all perfected and i'll come back and show you guys in a few all right y'all so we are fully complete with our easter themed garland 
Here she is. Look at this tag, y'all. Look at this tag. One side is a bunny. The other side, if you can see it, it says Hoppy Easter. So stinking cute. I love how the eggs came out. We've got the same color eggs as we do the beads. The little tassel, absolutely adorable, y'all. This is so stinking cute. One of my faves so far. I really enjoyed doing the Valentine's Day one, but this one with the eggs on it, y'all, so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just not, y'all have to give me some encouragement when it comes to doing craft videos. And I do remember her name, Laura DIY. If you want amazing, amazing craft videos, head on over to her channel. She does some crazy, amazing stuff. But y'all, I'm not Laura. There is no DIY in this name. There's closet in this name because I love to shop and I love to do hauls. But I also enjoy crafts and I just wanted to kind of share them with you. Uh, Y'all will probably be hearing more about my projects like as bonus content at the end of a haul or something. It's kind of what I think is the route I think I'm going to go. I mean, y'all can leave me some encouragement in the comments. Let me know yay or nay because filming a craft video, y'all, it's just not my... I don't think it's my forte and sometimes when it's not your forte it's okay to leave it alone like just leave stay like when people say stay in your own lane I'm definitely I'm just I'm gonna stay in my own lane because this is just like I know I dish out some hot messness to y'all a lot of the time y'all enjoy my real real YouTube stuff and this is just this was just real fumbling like I just feel so out of my element I feel so unprepared <laughs> most of the time my hot messes is kind of sometimes prepared but I don't know I just don't feel good about this like to the point where I feel like I filmed this whole video and I may not even post it but I'm probably gonna post it because I am not about that life of wasting content you will never never catch me wasting content over here um, as y'all can see from my last Walmart shop with me we don't waste content so um, y'all will definitely be seeing this but I'm gonna stay in my own lane when it comes to craft stuff I think I'll just give y'all updates on things that I do at the end of other videos you know if you stay till the end you get to see what's going on with Arlie's craft closet um, if you don't you you just don't um, but that's it y'all this thing came out so cute I'm so excited um, I've got another craft um, that I'm working on y'all probably seen it before this video um, and I'll probably like I don't know spruce that up with this little thing y'all it's so cute it's so cute oh. Y'all, as always, I love y'all very, very, very much. Um, I appreciate it. If you made it to this part of the video, I love y'all. Y'all are OGs. Y'all are my peoples. Because y'all support me no matter what trash I put out there in the world. Um, um, y'all, I need to stop calling my stuff trash. I really do. But um, as always, y'all, I love y'all so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Even this video, share it. Like, these are the videos that go viral, the hot mess this stuff. So share it. Share, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!